so i'm just giving a quick view first of all in selenium as it because this is what probably many of you may have been working on as it so let's say i have a demo project i'm just showing you a very easy example of a small demo pilot project which we have built on a standard page object model kind of a framework as it let's say i have something called as pages as in where i define my object find my express properties everything and likewise each page will have its own kind of objects and properties as so this is a kind of simple page factory or page object model framework then i may be maintaining something like test cases where i may be calling this pages to see how it works as in so possibly let's say i will open like one of the test cases and then up probably from here i may be calling the respective pages and objects and then i may have something called as a let's say a config file as in okay because certain global variables which i may not want to kind of declare in each and every test case separately so in order to keep the maintenance of the scripts very low possibly i may also define something called as a config file which i can use globally across the application so i'm just giving you a very simple example of a project as in which is built on the simple test ng kind of model now what we have done is the kind of same thing which i was explaining you as in let's say i the converter will first kind of read all the pages one by one we we'll kind of convert all the objects keep it in that folder read all the test cases from this test case file then again keep it in the folder and then finally it will recommend read the config property particularly and it will go and place it in the profile section of cat now so it has a one to one mapping between what section you pick up from selenium exactly what you go and put it in the folder there is now i will show you exactly how this converter work as i'm just showing you the inside view purposely for the all of you to just get a actual feel of how it works so if you see here there are two paths everywhere where i've given so i have the input path and then i'm giving you an output path let's say i will read the file this is the input path which probably you will need to feed to the converter where you are storing the config file and where you want to see the output file coming in example in where you have stored your object file and all this will be maintained in a protein folder structure recording so all this will be maintained for you and once this is there so this is the only thing which you need to feed to the converter rest of the program and the package already there now the moment i run you will see everything coming out to catalog in a click of a button so now i'm just showing you the initial view before i'm running the converter i don't have any profile i don't have any test cases i don't have any or also because this is the place where majority of the time goes at the actual automation development test suit is just a mere thing which is a one time activity once you have defined what test case you want to call that is going to remain the same as it but the majority of the time goes in building this objects test cases and profiles so i'm just studying the kind of program for you and then i'll show you how the actual output comes up you can just count the time also how much it taken it's not even a minute as in possible it's in seconds as it and it is in this case i am taking an example of almost 10 or 300 odd cases which are getting converted Yeah, that's really cool, right? I mean, being able to just take your Selenium test and convert into Catalan in less than sixty seconds is just unheard of, right? A lot of our uh, people have the same hesitation. So, really, thank you, Suraj, for building this. This is really helpful. Yeah. So now, while this is getting converted, I think most of the things were already good. I'm just coming back and I'll show you that how you can really see. I'm just doing a refresh out here. Then. Okay. Okay, we'll just go one by one. So now, see, it has started loading the project. So you do not need to think too much about what is happening in the background, how is it processing, etc. Just think that you have to give this through converter and input, and it will show an output. So I'm just showing you one by one. So let's say first I go and read the profile, which is the config file. i can see automatically it has come under the profile section with complete data okay what exactly i was kind of showing you here okay i'm just coming back and showing you again so this exact same file has automatically come out here now we'll go to the test cases you will see all the test cases also coming out very beautifully here okay all the test cases are in the click of a button and the important part which we also realize when we are developing this converter is about the reusability piece which is a very important thing in any kind of development that if i am developing a test case when i automate a journey i may want to call many of the existing test cases which are a part of that journey so with that reusability the entire stuff is coming in 
So you see, there is nothing. Everything is automatically kind of coming in for this respective test cases for every page, isn't? And likewise, you can also see the object repository at the end. Every object you will see all the objects with those same properties expert that you had given there. Everything is getting it. So just imagine now what you just have to do is anybody like me, I will just if I am getting all of this readily available, I will just go create a new test suit and just call those test cases. Beyond this, there is one more activity which probably you will have to do is getting the data also mapped. So in Selenium, obviously you will have a data binder from where you will be reading the data. It could be an Excel spreadsheet or it could be a database, whatever it is. Similarly, one time mapping. So there's a couple of questions, right? Uh, yeah. One, is this, uh, is this built on Maven uh, build or Gradle? Yeah, Maven. Maven build. Uh, and then uh, does it uh, uh, does it is it applicable for Selenium projects built using C sharp or only Java? Right now it's only Java. Got it. 